Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome, and welcome to part two of our house renovation project thing going on. <laughs> if you didn't see part one then please do go and check that out, it's just the empty house tour. Um, basically I'm doing a project management course and I got offered the opportunity to project manage this house uh, like as a renovation so I could build my portfolio. Um, I'm going to insert like the clips now, I'm going to take you on a house tour again and you can see what it looks like as just completely empty. Without further ado, I'll show you around the gutted house. Here we go! So here's a load of gubbins from in the house, <laughs> loads of bricks and bits of door frames and flooring and other stuff and heading on around the corner here, here's more gubbins and bricks and wood and carpet and stuff all ditched in the garden. I want to make sure that we get rid of this properly so that's why it's all there at the moment. So I'm just going to go down here and just show you a view from the front door. So as you can see, the carpet's been removed, the wallpaper's been removed and all the Artex has been scraped off the ceiling. That was tested for asbestos and thankfully it was fine. <laughs> so just looking in here, um, it's just kind of storage at the moment. Um, that's all been stripped of its nice stripy paper. This was some bargain insulation off Facebook, um, trying to save a few quid. The gas fire has been disconnected and to be honest there's not much more to do in here. All the walls are pretty flat so it's just a case of sanding the woodwork, sinking the light switches and we're ready to go. I actually asked to keep the carpet grippers on the stairs in the hope that we can reuse them. Um, and you'll notice here that the side of the stairs has actually been removed which opened up this great space under the stairs so I'm hoping we could do maybe some creative storage with this or something similar. A lot of you said about removing that wall and as you can see that wall has gone or well, half gone. Um, there's a lot of pipes and wires and like water pipes and things that are still in there so the other half of it will be going but hasn't gone just yet. But all the kitchen's been ripped out and as you can see it's left this lovely orange um, colour behind which is very bright. <laughs> so if I just go down this end and just turn around and show you, this is kind of what we're left with. Um, so yeah, removing that wall has made a huge difference so thank you to all of you who said about doing that. Um, yeah, this is quite a nice big space now to work with so uh, kitchen ideas are welcome. There's a couple of the old kitchen units just popped in here. It was just really to see if they would fit to make this into a bit of a utility area. Um, and at the moment, they're looking okay. Somebody said about turning this into a downstairs toilet, which is a brilliant idea. Um, I'm actually looking at that at the moment to see if it's feasible. Um, and yeah, these are just some kitchen units that were left over, just popped in there to see if they would actually work and if the unit top could be put on to turn this into a really useful utility. It's a bit ugly with all like the wires and the boiler and boxes and things, but hopefully we can come up with some creative idea on what to do with that um, to stop it looking quite so messy because this is like wire pipe central. <laughs> up the stairs that that banister is gone so if you've got any ideas for stylish banisters do let me know um, you'll also notice as well that that heater that was on top of the stairs is now gone um, we're left with a bit of a pipe sticking out at the moment and a great big dirty hole to the outside um, so those will need sorting out and blocking up but it looks so much more spacious on there with those gone there's some floorboards up and stuff at the moment. The only thing I noticed with the stairs is that under the windows there's these cracks. Now I know nothing about the severity of cracks. So these could be bad cracks, they could be not so bad cracks. So I'll get somebody to look at the cracks and decide what kind of cracks they are. <laughs> has just been stripped and you'll notice there's a little bit of a mould problem on the far wall which hopefully won't be too hard to rectify. I think it's just from condensation but I guess we will soon find out. Um, 
loads of you gave me brilliant ideas for this like box thing that is the stairs about like putting baby's wardrobe on it or maybe some like shelves for like some instagram stuff or even turning it into a youtube area which i thought was amazing um and then popping out of this room and into the master bedroom um it's also been stripped it's a rather fetching shade of bright pink and thing to notice in here is that somebody's got the same Poundland mug as me. How cool is that? <laughs> Yeah, the biggest change in here is it's, it's been stripped and those wardrobes have been removed, the one with the slack doors on and the big heavy doors off this have also been removed. Um, so I think this end we will just leave as part of the room and then somebody can either put their own um, wardrobes in there maybe uh, or some shelves, that's another good idea. Um, but this cupboard will just be painted out clean and left as it is. I don't think there's an awful lot we can do with the radiator, but I like an airing cupboard, so hopefully somebody else will too. <laughs> Bedroom three, again, it's just been stripped, but it is another moldy one. Uh, this is probably the worst wall for mould. You can see this, <laughs> the wallpaper has kind of like moulded itself in a horrible mouldy stripy pattern. Um, so you've just got to check and find out why that's happening, whether it's just condensation or whether there is a leak somewhere. But I'm not too worried about it. Don't think it'd be too expensive to fix. So the biggest difference here is so many of you said to rip out the wall between the toilet and the bathroom. Um, I asked about it, I inquired about it, it's not a supporting wall, so it has gone. Um, yeah, looking down there, you can see the kitchen. Ooh. <laughs> um, the bathroom suite bar, the toilet has been ripped out. That was a big, heavy, like, iron bath. Um, it had to be actually whacked into two parts to get it out, and it's really heavy. All the tiles are gone, those polystyrene tiles on the roof have gone. Um, so yeah, it's just a case of... Uh, tidying up all these pipes that are kind of around, finding out all where they all go, replacing plumbing that needs replacing, updating it and getting all that out. Um, the windows are in really poor condition. I think now that's all out, you can see actually how poor these are. I've got a quote to have the windows replaced. Um, all the windows in the house are gonna be replaced. I've got one quote, I need to get another a two, I think because um, you need three quotes for project management to you know make sure you're getting the best price or whatever um yeah there's a few holes in that in the floor that are going to need patching up this boxing in actually houses the soil pipe that goes like the toilet the back of the toilet goes into that soil pipe that's boxed in in that box <laughs> um so that's going to need modernizing and the soil pipe is going to be removed outside so hopefully that box and ink can come out which will give us even a little bit more space in the bathroom which will just be lovely and then last but not least i think this bit that was the door into the bathroom is going to be blocked up and the bit that was the door into the toilet is gonna still remain as the door. I think that's the best way to do it. If you've got another opinion, um, let me know. <laughs> and then just a quick view out in the garden, you'll see that the trees have gone and the sheds have been all pulled down. I'm so sad that we actually had to cut these apple trees down. They were so beautiful, but really, really rotten. Um, I those logs are going to be taken away by somebody who's got a log burner, so that would be great. Um, at least they're going to be used. But yeah, the same applies to the trees at the top. They were also really rotten. The sheds have gone. You can still see that corrugated asbestos is up there. That's got to be double bagged in like some special bags and disposed of properly. So here we are outside. Um, this is all the junk that's about. I've got a lot of eye rolls because I want to get rid of it as kind of well as possible, recycle as much as possible. Just showing you up here, um, you can see that that tree, oh I've got to be careful, 
Oh, it's a bit slippy. You can see that that tree's been taken out, which is a shame, but it will make the patio a lot brighter. It also made the kitchen a lot brighter once that was down. Um, and then back here, yeah, as I said, those sheds have gone. Somebody said about putting um, AstroTurf, like plastic grass in up here, which I think is a brilliant idea. So I need to cost that up because um, this is a lovely space that would be great for kids to play in. And then I've had a quote for new windows. Sadly, can't afford the trendy gray colors. So having to go for white, which I'm a little bit sad about, but never mind. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed seeing what we've done to the house so far. Thank you so much to those of you who popped um, comments under the last video. I took a lot of what you said on board. So thank you to those of you who said about like changing around the bathroom and taking out that wall. Um, I personally didn't think we'd be able to do that because I thought like the wall would like hold up the ceiling but apparently it doesn't. <laughs> so I put your comments to the builders and they tested the wall and yeah it could come out. So thank you to those of you who said that because now the bathroom looks so much bigger now that toilet and bathroom are all linked together. And also thank you to those of you who said about that end wall in the kitchen. That was actually the wall that continued down from the bathroom so that one could come out as well. So as you've seen from the video that one is now partially out um, there is a little bit of a issue with the soil pipe it's like an old-fashioned soil pipe like don't ask me technical things I don't get it I'm only the project manager um, <laughs> but apparently the soil pipe is like an old-fashioned one and there needs to be some like build reg checks or something and then it might be able to go outside which means that that bit of boxing in in the bathroom and downstairs in the kitchen can also be pulled out which will make that wall a lot more flush but yeah thank you to those of you who said like about removing those walls some of you have just got the most fabulous and creative ideas with this like you're absolutely amazing you all deserve jobs in interior design so yeah, if you've got any comments about the house now, um, do feel free to follow me over on Instagram and do kind of either private message me or tag me in things, tag away. <laughs> um, I'd love, love, love to hear all your ideas and all your inspiration. All of you who commented on that video are just incredible. <laughs> so yeah, so so far we haven't come across any like major problems. Um, I know my cousin Lisa said that um, good luck to me because these houses can be a pain. The only thing that we found was um, a bit of mold so hopefully that mold damp can be rectified I'm sure it's just like a little leak in the roof um, but yeah so far so good so do stay tuned in if you want to see number three once we start doing um, like electrics possibly some plastering and stuff um, great project manager I am yeah, do stay tuned do hit that subscribe button if you're interested in this sort of video there's gonna be loads more coming up especially when we get to like the interior design and start picking colors and wallpaper and all that sort of stuff in kitchens and bathrooms and that's gonna be like fabulous so do stay tuned for all that and yeah I hope you're enjoying these videos and I'll see you in the next one take care bye